गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज रेडियो कार्बन डेटिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाई इज इट इन द न्यूज रेडियो कार्बन डेटिंग इज अ वाइडली यूज साइंटिफिक मेथड फॉर डेटरमाइनिंग द एज ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट कंटेनिंग ऑर्गेनिक मेटीरियल The age of the material is ascertained by measuring the amount of carbon-14, that is C-14, it contains. Now let's discuss what is radiocarbon dating. Radiocarbon dating is a scientific method used to determine the age of organic materials and archaeological artifacts. It is also known as carbon-14 dating. relying on the radioactive decay of carbon 14 and isotope of carbon carbon 14 forms when cosmic rays interact with nitrogen atoms in earth's atmosphere living organisms absorb carbon 14 while alive upon death carbon 14 in their remains begins to decay at a known rate by measuring the remaining carbon 14 in a sample and comparing it to the initial atmospheric level scientists can calculate the age of the material providing valuable insights into the past in the early 1940s the american chemist martin kamen and sam rubain made significant discoveries they found a way to synthesize carbon 14 in the lab They discovered that the time taken to decay to half its original mass was around 5000 years. Now moving on to tools of radiocarbon dating. Giger counter. A Giger Muller tube is connected to electronics that interpret and display signals. The tube contains a noble gas like helium or neon and a rod passing through the center. Energetic particles such as those emitted during radioactive decay pass through the gas energizing electrons in the gas atoms and causing an electric discharge. Regular mass spectrometry. It isolates ions that have the same mass to charge ratio. The ions are subjected to different physical conditions that cause them to separate according to their mass to charge ratio. Accelerator mass spectrometry. It is a particle accelerator that energizes the ions a thousand times more. It can separate isotope ions of the same mass and different ions with the same mass to charge ratio. In this way all the carbon 14 from a sample can be isolated and examined to estimate. Now moving on to limitations of radiocarbon dating. They are most effective for dating materials that are relatively young up to about 50000 years old. Contamination from modern carbon sources can skew dating results. Radiocarbon dates need to be calibrated with known historical or archaeological dates to account for variations in atmospheric carbon-14 levels over time. The size of the sample can affect dating precision as smaller samples may yield less accurate results. Now moving on to the practice question. With reference to radiocarbon dating, consider the following statements. One radiocarbon dating is primarily used to determine the age of inorganic materials like rocks and minerals. Two it relies on the measurement of the stable carbon isotope carbon 12 that is C12 to calculate the age of the sample. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only two only both one and two or neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.